Dozens of rideshare drivers rallied outside the state house earlier today, demanding a pay increase and job security. The event is led by the Justice for App Workers Coalition. Supporters are calling this National Day of Action a May Day. 12 News reporter Valerie Moravi has more of this developing story. Valerie? Well, protesters came out to address the growing issue for ride share and delivery workers across the nation. State Senator Anna Gazzara told 12 News they are seeking fairness for all Uber and Lyft drivers. Protesters shouting, we won union. For many years, these drivers have been misemployed by the system, where the drivers provide everything, and the system only provides the platform and takes 70 percent of the ride fares. The Justice for App workers represent over 130,000 rideshare and delivery drivers across the nation. App workers say they're feeling the financial burden, especially when it comes to the cost of car maintenance. They're required to have a good car, good quality, and we also need to have good quality too and good fares. So airport is making money, a state is making money, Uber and Lyft making money, in the end driver is not making money, and drivers are the one, they buy the car, they pay the insurance, they take all the expenses. A spokesperson with Lyft told 12 News in part, quote, this February we released a series of new offers and commitments aimed at increasing driver pay and transparency. Now drivers will always make at least 70 percent of the weekly ride fares after external fees. Another protester claims drivers could be deactivated with without previous notice. Uber just deactivated you, that's it, you're done. Uber also said in a statement, we have improved our processes so that drivers better understand why their account was blocked. We also now give drivers the ability to ask for additional review of our decision. They can also provide additional information to us, like audio or video recordings that could support their case. Now, State Senator Quezada also said they're not just fighting for Uber and Lyft drivers, but for many other independent drivers so companies can provide more benefits. In the studio, I'm Valerie Moravi, 12 News.